Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 05 November. Tuesday here. Quiet day yesterday. We had a squeeze for dollar shorts. Euro went from 72 all the way down to 12. Little 60 pip jag there. Uh, on really no news, uh, just a squeeze. Wounds are lower. Um, so we, we still like Euro higher. Uh, we still think this trend is intact. We did have a little bit of a puke bar there uh, in the middle of um, the Asian session. As you can see, this bar here, nice little tail. Reminds me a lot of this bar here, which, but that was FOMC driven, so it's slightly different. But um, we like to see Euro dollar regain its footing. We talked about buying low ones yesterday. Um, we are in the low area here, so we buy euros here at the open um, for a look back towards 111.80. Probably at the end of the uh, end of the day today, we have U.S. ISM services today. This will be watched very closely, um, and if it is negative, uh, the dollar uh, will get hurt. So I mean, we look at this on the bigger picture. Two things are either happening. We either have this uh, amazing double top here and there'll be a puke through this neckline, or this is going to turn and just rejig higher and we're in the middle of nowhere. So it's it's tricky here, no doubt about it, when you're in the middle of nowhere. Um, but we do think this trend, this uptrend in Euro, is set to continue. Uh, and we do not think this neckline is in play for now. Um, so we're buying small euros here. We will add it now through 111.77. Unlike yesterday, we will be um, buying high ones as well as low ones. Yesterday we were trying to buy low ones. Today we're going to buy high ones and low ones. Dollar yen similar. Three up days after the big down day. Is this going to get through 108.91? Uh, we don't think so. In fact, uh, we're going to use 109, the figure 109.05 is that 200 day uh, as resistance and a place to get short dollar yen. Cable, not doing too much, a little bit of a squeeze lower, uh, nothing to do in cable. This is just going to be in a bit of a quagmire for, for months, years even um, it gets interesting above uh, 130.10 uh, there will definitely be some risk now below uh, 127.90 right now we're in the middle of nowhere there's absolutely nothing to do in cable dollar swiss uh, this is the dollar horse we like the most um, this will be treating as a pure break trade we're going to be selling 9840s uh, when we do eventually get down there. Let's talk Oz. Uh, same kind of Jim Jam kind of stuff. RBA did nothing, obviously. I would say uh, not much to see. Not a very interesting meeting. Uh, you can see the price action was sort of nowhere. We bounced up a bit um, from that sort of 80 area. We're waiting now. We're waiting for Aussie for some sort of news to drive Aussie either up through these highs, 69.30, or down through these lows at 68.80. Uh, we're going to need something powerful, but if it is powerful, so if it's trade news on the downside, we join the shorts. If it's uh, dollar negativity, U.S. dollar negativity on the top side, uh, we will join lo join longs. We're in the waiting mode, patience mode for Aussie. Euro yen, much of the same, middle of the range. 121.50, massively important. 120.30, also massively important. You can see a theme developing here today in foreign exchange. That theme is patience. Keep it light, keep it nimble. Uh, we do think the next move in this game is going to be ISM services today. 
which is late afternoon Swiss time. Dollar Cad, same song, just in the middle of nowhere, nothing to do. Gold, same thing, middle of nowhere. Everyone is waiting for the next shoe to drop. ES stays bid. Uh, we're in hysteria mode here. I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't particularly care uh, about prices up in at 30.80. You can try and sell extended high ones if you want. So if you take the sort of you know average true range and maybe sell up at uh, today, you might want to sell at 94 between 94 and 99 for a day trade. Go ahead. Um, but we're just staying away from equities for now because we're bearish. Uh, and it's not giving us any kind of bearish indication on price. So we just stay away. On the other hand, Boons, um, we will be adding shorts through these lows here, 170.64. This is that minus 40 basis points area, very, very key. Um, this is uh, quite interesting today, 170.64. Do we have any great uh, releases here in Europe? Let's check the calendar. I don't think so. Uh, unemployment in Spain. We have PPI, but nobody cares about that. Uh, but that could move boons. Really kind of stretching, uh, stretching. Nope. No, nothing really coming out of Europe, so it's just going to be based on price and pure supply and demand. Uh, but we're watching this uh, 170.60 point very closely. I would argue that there's a good chance they take this out first thing, uh, first thing this morning. So Boons through 170.60, this is a, I would say, a five-star trade for us. Got this triple top up here. We are very bearish fixed income, um, so you got to be on this. If boons start collapsing, obviously this is good for euro crosses and euro dollars, so you want to watch that as well. What else do we have out there? Not so much, right? I mean, uh, talked about gold, Aussie. Bit of a waiting game, really. You know, um, got yesterday was a classic day where everyone woke up and said finally we're all in on the dollar short trade and then the dollar appreciates you know half a percent almost immediately um, but you have to look at it in sort of the medium term picture we are just in the middle of nowhere on these charts and so we're just trying to be patient dipping our toes into long euro um, waiting to sell some dollar yen up in front of the figure and looking to sell some boons today sharpening our knives for the boons um, this one's this one's a little bit more exciting for us so we will see what happens I guess finally we should look at dollars R uh, also squeezing this gap is should get filled our argument is this is not going to get below 60 which is the beginning of it all when the budget news came out um, it's a cluster fuck of disaster on the financial side in, in SA. Uh, hard to see this currency appreciating a ton uh, in the coming weeks and months. So we look for dollars are to turn higher eventually. All right, that's all I got for now. I wish you guys luck. Uh, if you like our stuff, uh, please subscribe to the YouTube. Um, click if you like it uh, click the sort of thumbs up button I guess is important and also don't be afraid any questions uh, or any comments chuck them in the comments area we will get to those um, as soon as we can on slow days it'll obviously be quicker than uh, days that are busy anyway I'll leave it at that make some dope people have a good day I will uh, talk to you all tomorrow ciao